everyone, we're going to be looking at how to expand your chord playing using a melody. It's something I've been doing uh, for a long time and it started when I, I guess when I took a course of jazz for a few years a long time ago. And they do a lot of that, you know, play the melody and play the chords at the same time kind of thing, maybe walking bass line, so it gets pretty hectic. But the, the concept is cool and the idea can be used on a very basic level. So, for instance, the song Zombie, which I will be using minor C G and D that's the the chord progression any melody pretty much is attached to the chord progression so the same family of notes is being used for the chord that's being used for the melody so if you play the first chord and you try and think na 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 the first note is the root note of the first chord so you can na na you search for the notes just when you're considering if you've never done it before and you don't if you don't have the technique it's going to be impossible to play the melody and the chords at the same time but if I think first chord da, 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 three notes it's not in the entire melody so there we go so I've stopped I've strummed six strings then I've stopped I haven't strummed the first string and same again five string strum. So the melody is right there. And then I'm doing the five string, oh no, I'm doing a four string here. Now for the G, I've got to do what? Uh, I have to play the D like this because the melody, well, I don't have to, but it's better for me, I think. Uh, the melody notes are there. So we can use this D form. If I play this one, I have to do that move, which I'd prefer just to play this one. So once again, and then the last one, yeah. Brain for it. Um, so I'm using a combination of techniques. The idea is you can strum it. If I strum... It's interesting. Sometimes you can hear the melody a bit better than others, but I mean the idea is just now... You have an E minor, which you already knew, hopefully. Then, with this melody note... It's an E minor 7. So you've just multiplied by using the melody note, you've discovered another chord. Um, if we look at another part of the melody in the song, uh, that little bit. Um, and then it goes to the next chord, but now we're playing an E minor 9. So I've used again the melody over the E minor chord to find E minor 9. Or a nice, you don't have to know the name, you just have to know that it's an E minor, something that sounds nice. Um, if it was this, yeah, maybe you don't want to strum that one, but it was this. So now, in those two little uh, ideas of the melody, we've now got an E minor, an E7, and an E9. E minor, sorry, E minor, E minor 7, E minor 9. So what does this do for the next chords? All right, so if um, there's like a C, oh hey, this note's already in the C chord, so that's not a big deal. But the one before it, it's a sharp eleven or a sharp four, depending on what you want to do. Um, this, I prefer to play it like, uh, more like that, which then includes the major 7, sharp 11, there's no third, oh, no, uh, the fourth string's being muted, so that's where my normal, my third would be, but yeah, so I even add in the 9 here, you see what I'm getting at here, it's taking a melody, using it to put against the chords, therefore you find more chords. 
if you want to go that next level or if you have the technique to, then sure, you can figure out how to play um, the whole song. Uh, now I'm just going to screw it up. I haven't practiced this, so... Eh, I don't really play this stuff. Um, ears, song, melody, and using the chord progression. The chords there is four chords. And so it's not that crazy difficult. Um, you can use it for bass lines, I guess. You can use it for just in supporting the singer. You can play it if you, for instance, want to play the song by yourself. Uh, if you just play this. It's, you know, it sounds like a million other songs. But if you went... song. That's it. That's the idea. Um, don't worry if it takes a while. If your ears are not used to doing that sort of thing, it's going to take you a while to search for the notes. But just remember, all the notes that you need are pretty much always around your hand position, around that chord. If the melody, for instance, is an octave above, like um, if I was to play... Okay, it's different. So you move the melody down an octave, no big deal. And then it's in the right position. So you, you don't necessarily get to play the melody in the octave it's written in, especially when you can only play in this position. If you can therefore play across the neck, then okay, that's opened up everything. You can play wherever you want. Um, but this is mainly, mainly focused in open chords for more so beginners, I guess. But the concept applies for everything, even if you're a champ. All right, I'm going to leave it there, short and sweet, and I hopefully will, uh, yeah, be back for another one soon. Cheers.